right guys, Paul here at Paul Phillips Fix. Uh, it's a little drizzly day. I had just washed my bike and it got all filthy again. So it's raining a little bit and I'm not gonna ride it. So there's a project I'm gonna do. Uh, if your windscreen is scratched up and looking lousy, you do not need to buy another one. I'm gonna put a link for this. It's a 3M headlight restoration kit. I don't have the label for it. Oh yes, I do. Yep. Headlight restoration symbol system headlight restoration system from 3m uh, I've done some headlights with this you can do multiple cars or multiple windscreens with this They advise you to use it dry, but the sandpaper the abrasive discs get all clogged up so do it wet it works better and makes the uh, Set last longer, so I want to show you my windscreen uh first off it got wet let me get some of the water off of here so you can see how bad this windscreen looks see how scratched up and shitted up that windscreen is it's all hazy it's all screwed up over there uh i know what happened here right near the brake master cylinder reservoir somebody got brake fluid on there i know i did when i did my brakes yesterday but that's not from me. The little spots are from me. So you're going to need a T25 Torx to remove these floor screws, stainless steel screws. There's no nut in the back. There's just these grommets on the windscreen. Then it pulls straight up. Make sure you don't try lifting it up and out. Lift straight up back towards the back of the bike because this tab locks in here on the bottom. All right. So I have a mixture of rubbing alcohol and Windex. I'm using the abrasive pad right now, one of the rougher ones. I'm going to spray this down a little bit and just start going over it. It's going to look horrible as you go. Don't get freaked out. actually grinding some of this off I'm gonna put a UV protectant on here a headlight protectant it's like a clear coat that'll help preserve this after we do this it'll make this job last longer the Sun beats the hell out of these wind streams and they oxidize and get hazy Wendy, could you come spray for me a little bit? Just wet that up. With this? Yep. Wet it right up, this side, just this side. Thank you. Maybe I'll do half of it. No, I'm going to do the whole thing. I was going to do a half and show you a comparison test, but I want to get this done. It's starting to rain a little heavier out here. I'm not near my bike. That's under my carport because this shit splatters all over the place and makes a mess. That's why I took it off of the bike to do this. Plus, you don't want to hit the paint. Right now we're gonna do the other side. Oh, oops. Don't knock the camera over. <laughs> I'm getting shit all over my lens here. That's Wendy helping me. <laughs> Wendy's good for knocking shit over. <laughs> what am I spraying over here? This side. <laughs> another spray. Thank you. So give me another spray. Up 
where I'm not. There you go. Thank you. Wendy's dangerous. <laughs> She's my helper. She does a great job at giving me a hand. Bails me out a lot of times. Helped me bleed the brakes yesterday. No, I think that should do it. I want to see how it's coming out. I'm going to rinse it off. Let me go get my hose. Got shit all over the lens. GoPro, stop recording. All right, what I did off camera was I rinsed off the uh, screen. You can see how horrible and hazy that looks now. It's all scratched up because we took a layer of it off. Now I'm going to do the inside. You can rinse your little disc out once in a while. I got it. I'm just going to give this disc a little spray with the hose. Actually, it's not clogged up yet. Go ahead, spray this side now. Thank you. I'm hoping it's going to be a good video for you guys. If not, I'm going to put it up and show you how I fucked up my windscreen and how I got to buy a new one. <laughs> I know it's going to come out good. The only thing that I regret here is I don't have the polishing compound that comes with the little kit. I wish I had some of that. Could you spray right here? Thanks. I need you to hold that now that way. Thanks. This is where it was all messed up. this off again. Just rinsed off that disc again. Let's do this side right here. Spray it. Wendy moves too slow for me. I'm a nut. <laughs> I'm always in overdrive. Perfect day for this, isn't it? <laughs> Rainy, shitty day. <laughs> I'm gonna give this a rinse. Oh, where did that washer come from? Are these washers coming off of here? Yeah, I gotta get those washers out of there. There's little washers on here. Make sure you don't lose them. One of my washers just came out. I'm gonna get a pick tool and remove those so I don't lose those. Now I'm gonna rinse this off again with the hose. I gotta go upstairs. Okay. And that looks absolutely horrible. But, so you gotta do to buff all the blemishes out of there. Let me go get a little pick tool so I can get those washers.
got these screws in a magnetic tray, but that's not doing a damn thing for me because they're stainless steel. I thought I lost one of them. Yeah, if you can, if you got a little pick tool or a very small screwdriver, pop those washers out so you don't lose them. Put them on the side. in here I think there's a next level down that's a little finer yes there is there's a finer disc in here you have the abrasive then a more mild abrasive then a polishing disc and then the foam so it's a four stage process Hold on to the Velcro or you'll wind up ripping that disc up. If you want to use this more than once, be a little gentle with it. This one says 260L on it. That one's a finer abrasive. Spray the camera down so you guys can see. buffing those deeper scratches out that that first abrasive pad created in the screen. this disc again keep rinsing that disc off keep it nice and clean it'll work better it again
Rinse it off through the inside now. Looking a little less hazy now. Oh, I gotta rinse my dish. Have to drill on when you rinse the disc, it helps fly all the crap out of it. This worked lousy when they did it, following the directions, doing it dry. They want you to go through the disc, so you have to buy another kit right away. Works so much better wet. I'm gonna rinse this and my disc. Rinsing the disc again. Give that a wash. And rinse this one off now. Go to the buffing pad now. Could use some toothpaste with this as well for a little bit of an abrasive.
feels like it's sticking a little bit, so I'm going to rinse again. Rinse this pad again. Sounds like my battery is starting to go. There we go. Time for new battery. GoPro, stop recording. Another battery. I think I might have to get some toothpaste to polish this a little better. Still looking real hazy. rinse that pad too much
Going with the buffing pad now. Trying it with this water and Windex, the uh, alcohol Windex mix. I want to try it on both sides on the slower section to keep it clearing up. It's not working. I'm going to have to get some toothpaste as a uh, mild abrasive on here. I really wish I had polishing compounds. Toothpaste may be too gritty. Still looking hazy on me. I need some kind of polishing compound. GoPro, stop recording. Well, guys, so I started getting myself in a pickle. It was staying hazy. Uh, I tried the buffing pad by itself and it didn't seem to be getting rid of the haze too well. So I used uh, baking soda and peroxide. Uh, Colgate toothpaste that still didn't get it as clear as it should have as the polishing compound would have but wasn't too bad then I went over it with just water and the buffing pad but definitely get polishing compound if you're gonna do this uh, the kit had some but I used it up oh no I didn't I have it here son of a bitch that's what I get for rushing and not looking and paying attention I have polishing compound. You son of a bitch. Okay. Mistake on my part. That's what I get for Russian. Uh, anyway, it's not looking so horrible anyway. I'm putting Meguiar's headlight coating on here. This stuff says it keeps headlights clear for one year. I put it on my headlights about three years ago and they're still clear. But that's how the windscreen looks compared to what it was with all these stains and pretty shitty looking looks a lot better than it was so I'm gonna do one more coat maybe two more coats of this Meguiar's on here you got to wait three to five minutes in between coats that's still a little tacky I got to give that a few more minutes and I'll give it another coat or two I'll probably put three coats on there so guys, that's how you do your windscreen. That's how you don't do your windscreen without the polishing, polishing compound, but I fucked up. Uh, it still looks better than it did. I still may go with one of those racing tinted ones. Uh, while I was at this, I had gotten some Sylvania, their top of the line headlights. And if you're gonna do the headlights on this, this is the time to do it. Uh, that is a pain in the ass to get back in there to get your headlights. The low beam is a little easier to change than the high beam. But I put those Sylvanias in there. I can tell you the name of them. Hold on. The problem is the brighter you go with a bulb, the shorter its lifespan is going to be. But I want to be able to see. So I went with Silver Star Ultra that's what they are sylvania silver star ultra one thing to keep in mind whenever you do bulbs on your cars or your bikes do not touch the bulb with your skin you leave a residue of oil and it causes a hot spot on the bulb and shortens its lifespan so either do not touch the bulb or if you have to handle the bulb put some uh latex gloves on or uh whatever the hell the other ones are nitrile gloves all right guys i'm going to take a picture of this when it's done and on the bike and let you see how it looks in the natural light hopefully it looks better than it did okay we'll be back gopro stop recording well guys i just put a third coat on the uh outward side of it doesn't look too shoddy 
14 years old, man. 2007 bike. The thing was looking pretty ranked before. That doesn't look too bad. I'm happy with the outcome. I would have been happier if I used the uh, buffing compound. That definitely makes a difference. But I will put a link in the description for that 3M headlight polishing kit. If you want to freshen up your uh, windscreen, you can do it. You don't need to buy a new one. Really stupid to buy one if you don't need it. You know, this will take you an hour and a half and you'll be done. That's if you take your time. It'll take you about an hour and a half. So that's it, guys. I hope that's some useful information for you guys. Uh, in the end, I will take a picture of it on the bike and I will post that on there. Okay? Thanks for watching. I would greatly appreciate it if you guys would give a like and subscribe. Helps our channel get recognized. And uh, maybe someday we'll be somebody. I'm trying to turn off this goddamn alarm. Why won't my phone turn off? I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm old and senile. I have to set alarms for everything or I don't remember. Okay, I got some shit I got to do. Take care. Stay safe out there. Take good care of your bikes. They'll take good care of you. And definitely take good care of your families. Be careful. Lots of nuts out there. Bye-bye. See you soon. GoPro, stop recording. Yeah, hey guys, so I put the windscreen on the bike. It looks better than it did, but I wish I had found that polishing compound. It would have came out a lot better. But what am I gonna do? It's done. It was really a mess before, so I'll redo it again. I'm sure I will. I can't leave stuff half-assed. So, definitely use a polishing compound, makes a tremendous difference. Take care guys, your windscreens can be salvaged. Bye bye. GoPro, stop recording.